Well, hello there and welcome back to another episode of The Worth Advantage. Today, we're gonna be deep diving into the world of the Aussie screw. Gonna be answering quite a few questions on why this screw is so awesome. Get it? Awesome, Aussie. The Aussie screw is revolutionary, starting with the design of the head and the bit that it actually uses. So let's take the time and answer a few commonly asked Aussie questions. The first set of questions comes from Charles of North Dakota. I'm already using a square drive in my shop and I don't want to switch. Good question, Charles. Although it's more of a statement. There are quite a few examples I will show you later in the video of how this AW drive completely outperforms all other drives. And at worst case, if you're as stubborn as Charles is, might I recommend you give the Aussie a try out in the field during an installation. The Aussie Plus has screws that are as long as three and an eighth of an inch with a drill bit at the tip. Perfect for wood stud installation and even metal studs. They will drill through metal up to 1.5 millimeters thick. These screws do it all. What if I can't find or lose my bit? Another great question with an equally great answer. A bit is included in every box, but a T20 Torx will work in a pinch. It might be just a little loose, but it will get it done. Are longer bits available? You betcha. The standard one inch bit comes included in every box of Aussie screws. Two inch, four inch, and six inch are also available. How long will the bits last? Well, Chris, due to the tapered head design of this bit, they will last much longer than a typical bit. If a bit starts to wear and not grab as well as it used to, you can actually flat grind the end with a grinder. It'll work like the first day you got it. Next, we're gonna talk about the box. Yes, the box. The box is designed for ease of use and as a cost of goods, allowing you to easily estimate jobs. Include the box in your bids. You may not use every screw, but the box is paid for. Bonus. Not to mention, the box opens like a hinge drawer, making it super easy to get them screws out. It also closes to keep them in. The box has two labels on it. One stays on the box, and the other can be used to label existing racks or even bigger containers. Therefore, if you think this box is too small, just get multiple boxes and dump them into a bucket. Another good question commonly asked about the Aussie screw is what sizes do they come in? So the sizes available are anywhere in between 5 eighths of an inch all the way up to 3 and an eighth of an inch. We have screws for everything, from installing drawer slides and hinges to box assembly and installation. Our next question comes from Chris, way over in California. Chris writes, Hey, do those screws like break? Great question, Chris. Typical screws are just case hardened which makes them tough but brittle, so you betcha they'll break. But the Aussie screws are case hardened and annealed. Similar to a nail, if they bend on you, don't worry, just bend them back and you could still use the screw. Technology. Chris continues. So hold up, the Aussie screws actually cost more than what I'm currently paying for the worst screws. Why is that? Of course they cost more. Have you seen these screws? They're phenomenal. When you actually compare the price of this screw to how much it's gonna save you in labor costs and tooling costs, what I mean by labor costs and tooling costs is you will no longer need a second drill to pre-drill and countersink. No need to have to purchase any more countersinking bits and drill bits. And what I mean by labor cost savings is your guys are gonna be able to use the Aussie screw, put it into the screw gun, and screw it right to the project. No need for pre-drilling, no need for countersinking, it does it for you. And a lot less fumbling around of screws falling off of bits. Let me show you an install of a drawer slide to show you the difference. So the most common drawer slide screw is a 5 ace Phillips head screw. Now I know from being a cabinet maker for well over 10 years that I have dropped tons of these screws off the head of the bit. Now using the Aussie screw and the Aussie head pattern is amazing. It almost sticks to this like glue. I can't even shake it off of the screw gun. I'm in and out in half the time with a lot less stress. It's almost like the head pattern of the screw smiling at me. So the real question here is, who could not use these screws? Even a large shop that primarily uses CNC machines to pre-drill and countersink all of their holes could use the Aussie screws. 
If not in the shop, you can use the Aussie screws on installations to decrease assembly time and your overall installation time. Unless, of course, they have a robotic CNC machine that installs cabinets for them as well. Well, I hope that was informative all about the Aussie screw. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and ask. And remember, if you're hungry, eat something. <laughs>